Hartford Public Schools has been taking a multi-step approach to getting students back into the classroom full time. Hybrid learners returned to full in-person learning earlier this month, and this week the district taking another big step forward by bringing in those remote learners, of course, keeping safety in mind. Classrooms at Hartford Magnet Trinity College Academy looking a little more full Monday morning. Students like Jaden Rodriguez returning to the building for the first time in months and looking forward to more face to face interaction. It's just easier to talk to teachers, get help. Superintendent Dr. Leslie Torres Rodriguez happy to see that engagement on full display, citing the social and emotional benefits of in person learning. Yes, yeah, so we hear from, from parents that um, remote learning does work um, for some students, but the majority of our students um, and families express that it's been really hard and that they really want to students to get back. According to the district, 2600 remote learning students are returning to full in person learning Monday. So that means a total of 10,300 students will now be learning in person full time across the city with about 7000 sticking with the remote option. The district says the decision to welcome back remote learners in person was made in consultation with the Hartford Health Department and aligns with the state guidance as schools continue to enforce safety measures. Even when the numbers were significantly higher than they are today, uh, our classrooms were not centers of mass transmission because wearing masks matters, washing hands matters. The nation's also playing a part in the process to bring in more students. Every staff member has, has had an access to vaccination and will be done with a second dosage uh, for a group of our staff this week. And for students in need, Monday's step toward normalcy could not have come at a better time. We have had 700 families this year experience homelessness. That is double the amount in the past. Any of those families that want to make that switch from remote learning to full in person learning must contact their child's school so proper planning can be done. Reporting in Hartford, Angela Bavaro, Fox 61 News.